Today, we dock in Dominica and take an excursion to Trafalgar Falls, Sulphur Hot Springs, and a Champagne Snorkel, a unique experience swimming through the bubbles from volcanic vents. It's also pirate night. We have fireworks and dinner at Animators. Join us for this amazing day. We're docking in Dominica and we're welcomed by a rainbow. We got room service this morning because we have an early excursion. Through Disney, we booked the Trafalgar Falls and Champagne Snorkel excursion. And a champagne snorkel doesn't mean they give you champagne when you snorkel. It means you snorkel through little bubbles like champagne bubbles. We're at Trafalgar Falls. The drive was about 30 to 40 minutes. Very pretty here. This is known as a sensitive plant, a plant that responds to touch by rapidly closing its leaves. It's thought that this adaptation is a defense against browsing herbivores who may be startled by the movement. Giant leaves here. Well, that was pretty cool. It's about a 10 minute walk to the falls, up and down some steps. We're very pretty here. We next took a short minibus ride to the Sulphur Hot Springs. Hot gases are bubbling up from the volcanic vent. You can smell the sulfur in the air. Yeah, you can buy sulfur rocks, sulfur cream. Next, they drove us to the ocean for the next part of our adventure, which is the champagne snorkeling. The description says, much like swimming in a glass of champagne and through a stream of bubbles that rises from a submerged volcanic vent in the seafloor. The guide brought up a sea urchin. There were a lot of bright yellow sponges. The guide dove down to bring up some hot water from the volcanic vent. They claim it has rejuvenating properties. It's really cool, the water is so warm here. It's a little murky near the shore, but it gets clearer farther out. Saw some sponges, those are neat. There's the flag of Dominica. We came to Cabana's for lunch. Nice view of Dominica from our seats. That always vary the menu selection. There's a peanut butter cheesecake. Oh, and can I make an ice cream sandwich? All right, so we just came back from the excursion, which was the Trafalgar Falls and Champagne Snorkel. Rebecca, what'd you think? Okay, so on the bus ride, he was giving nice, interesting facts. We saw him a little too much. So the van ride, I thought was interesting to drive through the town and, and see their homes. Um, kind of a low socioeconomic status conditions here. Some of the homes looked like they were abandoned. Some of them looked lived in. Some of them you couldn't quite tell. And then when we got to the falls, it was nice. Yeah. It wasn't that what? too long of a walk. So the falls, yeah, it was like a short walk. And so you don't need to really bring like water, shoes or anything. Just like flip-flops. We brought flip-flops and it was totally okay. It was cool, but we only got to see it for like a few minutes. Like it was quick there. So I kind of wish it was like a little bit longer so you could explore more. I thought the, the waterfalls were really pretty. It's a really nice area. Uh, it would have been nice if you had to stay there longer. Giant leaves, biggest leaves I've ever seen is bigger than our heads. And then what about the hot springs where we saw the, the sulfur coming out okay, of steam? Um, it smelled disgusting. It was cool, but like 
We were looking at it too long. I know, but it looks cool, but it smelled disgusting. Everyone's trying to sell us stuff. <laughs> yeah, lots of people selling things. This is a volcanic area, and uh, the hot springs from the volcano um, steam up and, and sulfur comes out. It reminded me a lot of Yellowstone. It's the same type of thing with those hot springs with sulfur. Um, they were selling sulfur that you could rub on yourself, supposedly for health benefits. The sulfur thing was interesting. I mean, it was kind of neat to see water bubbling. It was quick, so it was fine to just take a quick peek at it. The snorkeling, at first, it was like murky and stuff. When we finally got to like when it's not murky, there wasn't that many fish. But it was cool how the guides were like showing us like sea urchins and like a worm inside the water. But also there was a lot of like people inside the water and the champagne bubbles were like not as cool as I was expecting. I expected like more. I thought the snorkeling was really fun. It was murky at first, but the water was really warm and we saw a lot of tube sponges, which were really cool to see. Lots of sponges here. It was cool to see the air bubbling up from the ground. Uh, from the volcanic vents. So super unique. So if you like snorkeling and want a unique experience, this is for you. <laughs> By the way, does she look two years younger? Comment down below because she put some bubbly stuff uh, on her hair. And it's supposedly supposed to make you look two years older. So younger. 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 Two years younger! So last night, Rachel and I went to Match Your Mate, which was a lot of fun. There's an adult game show where they had three couples. One couple was just married that day. So they were brand new newlyweds. One couple had been married for 50 years and then one for uh, 25 years. So we got a variety there. So that was a, a fun game show. Well, Match Your Mate, we hadn't seen, but we heard good things about it. It was pretty funny. There was a question of um, the most unique place like you got together with your partner. And um, the answer, if, if the answers matched, they would get a point for the couple. And the answer from the old couple was in the caves of Tom Sawyer Island. And the whole crowd went crazy and clapped about that. Last night, Rachel was up at midnight so she could book Paulo for our next cruise coming up this summer. Arr, it's Pirates Night. There's a pirate deck party about to happen. I get some pirate photos first. I'm wearing my Disney Cruise pirate shirt. We've got some pirate necklaces, pirate treasure. We then went to see Wish in the Walt Disney Theater, and then after that we went to the Pirate Deck Party. Think of the fireworks show. Well, I thought it was it was a lot of dancing. It was like half an hour after it started, all just like dancing the whole entire time, and so it's not as exciting. But Mickey coming out across is very exciting, and that's super fun. And then, but the fireworks show is really cool though, because like you're on the boat in the middle of the sea, so that's cool. When do you get to see fireworks over the ocean when you're in the middle of the ocean? But it's like you're waiting like half an hour to see like a three-minute fireworks show. Overall. Just go out 
for just the fireworks if you like fireworks. Right? And to see a pirate come down and Mickey to swing across the deck to save the day. What? We were on the starboard side, uh, deck 10. So uh, that's good viewing for the fireworks. All right, we are back in animators for pirate nights. Wait staff is dressed in pirate outfits. I love pirate night in animators, pirate photos on the walls. And it's all lit up, very cool. Artwork from the ride. All right, there's Pirate Rebecca with her pirate hat on. The pirate's menu. Cornbread tonight. He gave me a lot of rolls today. Five rolls and lots of butter. The mango dip. For pirate night, our assistant server made origami parrots. That's amazing. This is the lime marinated shrimp with chili, white corn, sweet potato, and onion. Named after Angelica from Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides. This is the chilled mango soup with passion fruit, ginger, and coconut. This is the vegetable samosa. It's Sri Sambaji's vegetable samosa with potato, peas, garlic, cumin, and ginger served with tamarind and mint chutney. It's named after this character from Pirates of the Caribbean at World's End. This is the Tia Dalma's Jerk Chicken, 48-hour jerk marinated chicken, grilled and served with rice and peas, fried plantains, and a pineapple chili salsa. Named after Tia Dalma, who was in a couple of the Pirates movies. This is the Jack's Treasure of the Seas, grilled shrimp and seared scallops, served with spinach, strings of pasta, tomato provincial sauce, and black tomato pearls. Strings of pasta, I think that's also known as spaghetti. This is the Shanghai Noodle Stir Fry. Egg noodles with nori, edamame beans, white soy sauce, marinated tofu, scallions, peppers, carrots, and sesame seeds. This is Bananas in Paradise. Layered banana bread with hazelnut fudge filling served with a banana spice puree. This is the caramel macadamia nut cheesecake tart served with whipped cream and caramel ganache. And this is a Pirate Treasure Sunday pineapple coconut ice cream, pineapple whipped cream, and Florentine chard. She brought me an extra chocolate cake as well. What do you think of your dinner animators? I thought the mango soup was medium, like the actual soup was good. There was like little pieces of other stuff, like ginger and other things in there, which I didn't like as much. The jerk chicken was really good. And then the banana bread was also really good. It's like banana bread and then hazelnut filling. I enjoyed the mango soup. I thought it was really good, refreshing. Uh, the jerk chicken was good. I really like the rice and beans. Though I could have used a little more spice on that jerk chicken. It was missing a little bit of kick. Uh, my desserts were amazing. She brought me a second dessert again for the second night in a row. It's a flourless chocolate cake. But that coconut ice cream sundae was, was delicious. I really liked that a lot. That was one of my favorite desserts. So I like the samosa. It probably has the most amount of flavor of anything I've had. It definitely had a little kick to it, which I appreciate because a lot of the food is really more bland to appeal to the masses. So samosa is that Indian dish. It's like a potato, kind of like a mashed potato, like fried dumpling type thing. It, um, I definitely recommend getting that. And then I got the pasta um, with the scallops, which were done pretty well. The shrimp was a little overcooked. It was like a little too chewy, so I didn't finish up the shrimp. And the pasta itself was good. Overall, it's like a good dish, not like the best dish. And then that's my favorite dessert, I think, is the caramel macadamia nut cheesecake. That is super good. Definitely recommend that. All right, here's our towel animal creation for pirate night. It's so big. Yeah, it's giant. They use my sunglasses. Yeah. Dead men tell no tales. <laughs> Tomorrow we're going to be in St. Lucia. We have a catamaran excursion. It's going to be a lot of fun. All right, we're off to bed now. We'll see you when we get to St. Lucia. Thanks for joining us. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you can continue to join us on our adventures. We'll see you soon. We saw a mango tree. Yay! Tomorrow, we're going to be in... Where are we going to be tomorrow? No clue. Nobody knows where we're going to be tomorrow.